Alright guys, here's part two. When she walked into the store, she was immediately greeted with her host, bouncing in excitement. Yay! You're here! You're here! I've been waiting all day! Is this the jumping pony? I saw it from a little late, Pinky. I, go, I was doing my afternoon exercise and lost track of time. Daft apologized. Pinky giggled and responded with a gleefully reassuring tone. Blah, blah, blah. That's okay. That's okay. I'm here now. That's a few more minutes. I've been so excited about all the fun stuff we're going to do. I haven't stopped bouncing since I woke up. I mean, I almost forgot to breathe. I've been so happy. Dash gave a slightly uncomfortable laugh. She always appreciated Pinky's friendly, outgoing way of life. But uh, overabundant enthusiasm almost creeped her out. Dash was polite, however. If Pinky was this fucked up, then whatever, then it must be good. Blah, blah. Whatever it was. So you already get started, Dash? I got everything all ready. The pink one said. <clears throat> Dash psyched herself up. You betcha, Pinky. So what do you got planned? Are we gonna prank somebody? I got a couple of good ones I've been thinking about. Or maybe you got some stunts you think I should try? Or perhaps making cupcakes. Dash and Pinky happily announced. Baking? Dash was disappointed. Pinky, you know I'm not good at baking. Remember last time? Oh, that's no problem at all. I don't need any need your help making them. I'll be doing most of the work. Pinky explained. Ah. Just thought about it for a second and replied, Well, all right, I guess that's okay. What exactly do you need me to do? That's the spirit. Here you go. Pinky handed Dash a cupcake. Dash was puzzled. I thought I was helping you bake. You will be. I made this one just for you before you got here. So, is this like test testing or something? Sure, Pinky said. Alright, stay tuned for part two, guys.